Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for our day one vlog here from Six Flags Magic Mountain. Ooh, big bucket list coasters here. Oh, this is a big park for Charlotte to get to, isn't it, today? Such a big park. Really hoping that we get lots of rides in for Charlotte. Our fingers crossed. Luckily, we are going to be coming back for a second day as well. It's quite a short opening hours today, 10.30 through until 5. So we've got to get around pretty quick today and get locked it's in. It's quite short hours, really. It is, but we're coming back. I think it's home till 8 o'clock when we come again. Is, yeah. Um, filming a day two vlog oh, then. Plenty of time. Loads of time. What are you looking forward to the most, Charlotte? I can't wait to see what X2 is like. X2. We've just pulled up onto the car park. We've also just seen Scream, Goliath, and Twisted Colossus I can't testing. Wait for Twisted Colossus. I've not been on it since 2015. I'm really looking forward you to You know, it. when I was here two years ago, that was closed. And that just leads me on to what I want to talk about. Six flags and reliability. Now, we do know there's going to be some rides closed today. We've come here expecting that. Tatsu, the flying coaster, that's having a repaint at the moment. Um, it's understandable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a 365 park this is now, you know, so you've got to bear that in mind. Never used to be. Uh, well, these rides do need maintenance. They've got to have downtime. It's going to be so quiet today, though. Brilliant. Rewind. Definitely. Get as much in as we can do. So come and join us here at Six Flags Magic Mountain See you in, in California. Let's go. Here we go then. So it's just gone 10.30. We're inside the park. And what have we got, Charlotte? Put me on your park. Hey! passes so there we go Charlotte's got her pass just over there oh it was like how much was it for that 70 pounds like, limited visit unlimited visits I've gone for the one that's a little bit more because you get parking and also you can visit all of the other Six Flags properties as well it was cheaper to get this oh welcome to Magic Mountain Charlotte here we go around to the right just here and look at this such an iconic view there and I honestly we've just seen Superman tested as well things are looking good because yeah. Superman's been on the clothes list it's for a while. Clothes list, but it's tested. Which is really cool. But yeah, look at this. We've got the fountains over there. Tatsu at the top. Yeah, we're not going to be riding Tatsu today, oh. unfortunately. This is a shame because you would have liked to have done oh, it. I'd like to have done it. But luckily, there's a lot of other rides that seem to be open, Ooh. which is really good to see. But I think we'll head around this way to the left first. Here we go then. So we just walked past X2. It's temporarily closed at the moment. So we're making our way out towards Superman. But all is not lost yet, Charlotte. Don't worry. It's early days. I tell you what though, look at this. Here's the new paintwork on Tatsu. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got the lovely yellow and orange before. And then, yeah, green, Charlotte. Let's paint it bogey green. <laughs> oh, I'm not too sure on the green colour scheme. Maybe I'll look better orange. when it's done. Yeah, it's iconic, like, you know, for the logo and everything. But we're heading up towards Superman. Here we go, a little bit further up now, and you can see the finished paint job just here. Yeah, the green supports, and now the bright orange track just there. So, yeah, you can see the, uh, the old colour. Here we go, this is history in the making right there. Goodbye to Tatsu's old colour scheme. You can just see them up there roller in it. Okay. That's how they do it. There you go. Off he goes, changing that colour scheme on Tatsu. Oh, that is a sound that I like to hear. We was coming here expecting Superman Escape from Krypton to be closed, but it's open. We was expecting to be closed, I can't wait. This is going to be your first proper, like, massive coaster in America, this. Like, this is an absolute beast, it really is. Obviously, we're at Six Flags, we can't film on ride, but I will get lots of off-ride footage and capture that in these vlogs. Full throttle on there. We're doing all right here, Charlotte. Yeah. We're doing all right. Well, here we go. Time for Superman. Can't wait for Charlotte's reaction to this. Launching backwards, 100 miles an hour. This is going to be beautiful. Just round to the right, just there. Six Flags, everybody. Have a Six Flags day. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good, this. So quiet. Absolutely incredible start to the day. Not one, but two back-to-back -back rides, including one front row on oh. Superman. 
That oh. was so good. I was not <laughs> expecting that. The launch was just so long. I thought it was going forever. It's a ridiculous launch. Amazing. 100 miles an hour and backwards as well. We didn't even have like, it we was waiting in, it was just gone. The yeah, there's no button, countdown. It was gone, there was nothing. <laughs> there was nothing like, I'm welcome there, to America. for a countdown. It's like, oh, it's gone. They don't mess about at these amusement Brilliant. parks in America. These massive rides. That was incredible, that. Uh, just the forces that you get as you gradually build up the speed backwards. Amazing. And then as you start to climb that 400 foot tower and then you just feel that at the top when you're looking around that weightless feeling so good oh, it's incredible it really Brilliant. is i'm so chuffed we got that because we didn't think we were going to get it yeah i'd have been so sad if i hadn't have got it it's one of them rides if you see it testing just or hear it operating it. you've got to go to it you know i remember this from two oh. years ago it's an unreliable ride but when it works it's, it's amazing oh what a great start oh. to the day I am made up that we got on Superman. I love that coaster to bits, I really do. And yeah, we're down in the steampunk district now. This is actually the nicest part of the park when it comes to theming. You got Scream just down here, Twisted Colossus. Hopefully we're gonna get on it. It's been seven years. I really wanna get on it. Yeah, another RMC for Charlotte to get. Yeah. Fingers crossed, but uh, yeah, we're gonna head down this way and have a look first. If that isn't open yet, we'll do Scream. And we've seen Goliath, that's uh, loaded. There's people up there in the station. Yeah, so we'll get on uh, Goliath. It's another big ride, Charlotte. Huge ride. Iconic Goliath is as well. Of course, we are here at the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Park. You know, walking around here when I first visited. I knew my way around because I used to play it. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, I am so sure if we got on it. It is a beast. Is it open? Yes, Twisted Colossus, RMC. Born 1978, reborn 2015. And that's when I last rode it, 2015, here we go. You're looking forward to this, Charlotte? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so glad we're getting this, honestly, I really am. Let's go and we'll see when we come off. All right, riders, and uh, two drops. We've just done two back-to-back -back rides on Twisted Colossus and I tell you what, they let us re-ride in the station. They did. It's a really good ride, but it's my weakest one out of the RMCs that I've done, but it's still really good. It's interesting that Charlotte says that because I actually agree. I'd only been on that coaster a couple of times back in 2015 uh, and actually I didn't get it with the dueling element. We was lucky, it's running two trains and we managed to get it. I know, we was like, yes! It's amazing, especially through the high five element. It's a coaster of two halves. Obviously, you've got two inversions on there as well. Charlotte didn't realise actually. I I thought it was two coasters, I didn't know. Yeah, it's a Mobius loop for those of you that don't know. You look at it and think, oh, it's got a blue track and a green track. Really clever. Um, it's not, you know, it is a ride, of course, where uh, it's a Mobius loop, it's one continuous layout. In a way, though, for me, that ruins the flow of the ride, you know. Yeah, I suppose um, so. Because you've got the second lift deal. But it does make it longer as well. It does, it's a good fun ride. For me, ride. though, there's some awesome airtime on there. <laughs> uh, the double downs, the high five element, the stall, which is absolutely amazing in the second section. It's a great ride, but yeah, it is one of my weaker RMC I coasters agree. compared to the like of Untamed and Zardra that we've got oh, in Europe. I love that. But it was so good to get back on there. Really good ride. And up next, it's time for a B&M coaster. I'm really looking forward to this. It's time for a scream. It's a B&M flawless. Let's go and have a ride. You find yourself lost. More likely your friends are lost and you can't find each other. Plan to meet up at guest relations near the main gate at the front of the park. having a little bit of a dance there after a ride on Scream. It's actually really good, really smooth, but the landscaping, sort it out. <laughs> it's a car park coaster, oh, that. No, it needs something in the middle, doesn't Welcome it? Welcome to your first Six Flags. Oh, I'll tell you what is well really themed. Yeah, Look at this. Lovely, lovely. There you go, the entrance to Goliath. Oh, it's so RCT, I love it. Roller Coaster Tycoon. We had Scream, great ride, seven inversions yeah, on I there. I really enjoyed it and it was so smooth. Yeah, it's brilliant, straight down the middle just there, Charlotte. There we go. <laughs> I can tell you were looking for the entrance then. It's like, yeah, right in the middle here, behind the eye of Goliath. This is an absolute beast, this is. 255 what foot is drop. At this point? Two hours. Two hours? I don't think so, not today. But yeah, it's an absolute beast, this, and it's surprisingly intense. Just wanted to talk a little bit about lockers. Now, not every ride requires you to actually purchase a locker, but no. some do. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's $1 for a single ride, 
or you can get the multiple ride locker for $8. And that's what we've got today. You can move it around all day. Right, we'll see you when we come off. You're looking forward to this? It's Goliath here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's coming up now. over on Goliath again another walk on ride what are your thoughts on that then Charlotte so I thought it was a good ride but it didn't really do it for me like it was really smooth and stuff but it was a bit underwhelming I thought for a coast of that height you do expect it to yeah, do more I did black out a bit on the near end section but I thought it would be a bit more intense than that yeah it has got a grey out section on there but you've got to bear in mind that coaster over in the year 2000 yeah, is 22 it's years age, old it's so smooth you didn't realise how old it was no, I told you did you I yeah. love the train design as well which is quite nice but no, it just didn't do it for me, sadly. Yeah, it's a nice little lap bar on there. For its age, it's a great ride, and I really enjoy it. It's iconic for the park. I love the entrance. Um, but yeah, it doesn't do loads, does it? But the grey out section's fantastic. Yes, yeah, it's really good. Love a good intense grey out section. But yeah, we're doing really well here. I was so worried that we were going to get stung, as I would I say. Know. You know, we're having a little jokes, aren't we? Saying you're going to get stung. <laughs> We're but no, we're well. doing all right. Um, but of course, there is going to be a few rides closed, but we're doing okay. Just behind us then, you can see the big red fence. Well, there's a new roller coaster that's been built. Wonder Woman Flight of Courage. That's going to be opening later this year. Uh, that's an RMC single rail coaster. Bit of a sore subject for me. Six, six Flags and single rail. <laughs> Never done one. But uh, yeah, at least I'm not looking at another one that's not, uh, exactly. that, that's not operating, you know. But uh, yeah, Wonder Woman Flight of Courage going to be coming later this year. That does mean that the B&M uh, just down that end which is Batman is closed the oh, BNM inverts no. it's a cloned ride but then I forgot Charlotte actually hasn't done that layout before no, so I've not done it. but uh, don't worry you've got a better BNM at Alton Towers exactly. than that <laughs> I'll tell you what is open though BNM wise just around this corner the Riddler's Revenge Woo. this is a huge stand-up coaster it's absolutely brilliant so let's go and have a look Wow, what a B&M beauty. The Riddler's Revenge there, huge stand-up coaster. We're gonna head on there shortly after who's on the dark ride just over here, Justice League Battle for Metropolis. Quite a good dark ride, this. to a few of the Six Flags parks, and yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be anywhere near as good as it was when I first experienced it. So you ready for a dark ride? I don't have a clue what this is. Well, here we go. It's all based around Justice League, so let's go and have a ride on here. About it. Yeah, let's go and uh, give it a go. I'll take you on with this one with it being a dark ride. We can take you along for the ride. Let's go. If you don't know me, I'm Cyborg, the youngest member of the Justice League and the team's technology expert. Superman and Batman already told you about the situation here in Metropolis. Well, it's gone from bad to worse. Now that we know where the captured members of the League are being held, we need your help to break in and rescue them. Here we go, we made it through the two pre-shows. And we're on. Got our 3D glasses on. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
destroy the intruders. It's over the floor. Oh, cover us, Mr. Team. Blast those like spots. She's there from Justice League, Battle for Metropolis. What has just happened in there? What's up with you? I didn't know the car was going to do that. It was like this. Time. Yeah, so it is a tracked ride, and then the vehicle like kind of moves and rotates. Not basic. Yeah, screen based ride. Good, but I didn't expect that. It's well themed, isn't it? Yeah, I had to cover my eyes for the screens because I get bad motion sickness. <laughs> the quality of the animatronics in there. Yeah, really good. I was like, oh. Some great theming throughout really as well. Good, yeah, yeah you, you, I think Charlotte was just expecting a real basic dark ride. I was not expecting. Yeah, it's a state of the art ride. I yeah. Had to put the gun back and hold on. It's a great dark ride, but uh, anyway, I was talking before about the new single rail coaster. Here we go. Here's a look at some of the footers. Yeah, of course, the supports will attach onto all the footings that you can see just here. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a really good ride from the plan. So yeah, I'm looking forward to riding it at some point in the future. But yeah, we're getting on the Riddler's Revenge now. I think the only stand up coaster Charlotte's done is Shockwave at Drayton Manor. Yeah, it's the only one I've done. It is, isn't it? It's bigger than Shockwave. It is this, in my opinion. And it's the best stand-up coaster in the world. Riddler's Revenge. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Look at that sexy B&M track. All nicely painted up. That's the thing, though. When you come into a park like this, doing big, intense rides on a quiet day, it's one after the other, isn't it? You know, you're getting round, you're getting so much in. But I'm quite pleased about that because I was really concerned at the start of the vlog that we wasn't going to get much in. But yeah, the Riddler's Revenge, nice big stand-up coaster. Let's go and have a ride, and we'll see you when we come off. Just seen some off-ride footage there then from the Riddler's Revenge here on Magic Mountain. How did you find the stand-up coaster? To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of stand-up coasters. Like Shockwave at Drayton Man, I'm not a huge fan. But this ride is a lot better than Shockwave. But for me, I'm not a big fan of stand-up coasters. I just don't like the position that you're in. They're quite uncomfortable, especially uh, on men, you know, if you know what I mean. Any men watching this, yeah, I'm sure they can relate to it, to be on a stand-up. But you got to think, this did open in 1998, so it's, it's four smooth, years newer. Actually. It's got six inversions on yeah, there. Yeah, no, really smooth yeah. ride. It's a great ride. I really enjoy that coaster. Nice mix of inversions, great B&M, and it looks the part as well. It's a good, solid ride. I tell you what, we're having a cracking time so far. Really it's only just gone one o'clock. I know. I was really concerned this morning when we were driving here thinking, About you know, four hours. yeah, are we going to have a Six Flags day? And when I say a Six Flags day, I mean a bad day. But no, we're not. We're having a cracking time. Yes. You know, Magic Mountain is a part that I've never really had a bad time at. Um, every time I've come here, I've really enjoyed it. And yeah, today is no exception. Really enjoying it here today. And up next, it's time to make our way down towards West Coast Racers. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Now, we do keep looking over towards X2. Oh, I, just, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, we keep looking from all the rides X2. If it had have opened, we'd have got straight there to it. Please, I'm glad we had two rides Jonathan. on Superman, though. Please, <laughs> even though I might not like it, please. <laughs> it might be too intense for Charlotte here. Yeah. Doesn't do that well with the intense rides. Um, yeah, I tell you what, we did well with Superman, didn't we do the two rides? That's my favourite one out of all the ones. Oh, it's amazing. And yeah, it's had quite a lot of downtime 
fact, I think it might be down again now, to be honest. But, uh, oh, that beer now raw from the old Riddler. Right, let's go down West Coast Racers. Here we go then, welcome to the underground here at Six Flags. Oh, feels a little bit busier than it was earlier. It's not completely deserted now, however, it is still very quiet. Perfect really, because the park's actually got a bit of an atmosphere now. When it first got here, it didn't, but to be honest, when you come in here to get on some big beast rides, it doesn't really matter if it's got much of an atmosphere. I'm just glad that it's open, to be honest, and we can get on all of these awesome coasters. Um, we had also wanted to talk about face coverings. Uh, they aren't required indoors. In terms of on the ride, a lot of people don't seem to be wearing them on the rides. Um, I don't think the actual policy is you need to wear them on the rides, unless it's indoors, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a ride on this. You're looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait for this. This was the brand new ride last time I was here two years ago. Yeah, sponsored, of course, by West Coast Customs. It's West Coast Racers. Yeah, it runs all the way around. It's another Mobius, this. It's not two coasters, Charlotte. <laughs> Just the one, like Twisted Colossus. But yeah, manufactured by Premier Rides. Lots of launches in this, and it also features four inversions as well. It's a great ride. In fact, here it comes. We're going to see it come up into the elements just here in front of us now. But yeah, it's a great ride. I really enjoyed it last time I was here. Here it comes. Nice bit of interaction. Oh, bit spraying going on just there. There we go. What do you think? That was really intense. You said that was the most intense the ride most you've done. Intense one I've done. I wasn't a fan of In that terms part. of at this park or ever? Just at this park. At this park. Like really intense. Oh, it made me feel a bit sick, but so smooth. <laughs> but I'm just not a fan of like the comfort collars at all. Yeah, they're not great because obviously you've got the lap bar, then the comfort collar. And then it's like moving about as you go around. It's more just to stop you kind of jolting forward, yeah, you know. know. It's but not very like it's not very tall or anything, but it yeah, is it's it's snappy. Really snappy. It's got one more thing to say to you, Charlotte. Oh. Merry Christmas. The Christmas tree is still up. Why oh, is the middle of January? And holiday in the park is still set up in some locations. You'd have thought that it's took that down by now. Now, I don't think Charlotte's ever seen these, but I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this. Six Flags, the old TV adverts, where it used to be with a bus, and this is it. It's the Six Flags bus. It's amazing. We like to party. I'll just show Charlotte the advert now. I'll tell you what, I'll show you on YouTube whilst we're in the queue for our next coaster, which is a wooden coaster. No, we're not at Drayton Manor. All oh, right, okay, this apocalypse. <laughs> apocalypse the ride, GCI wooden coaster. And yeah, it's just leaving the lift hill now. Yeah, looking forward to getting back on this. Some good theming on this queue line as well, actually. One of the best themed attractions here at the park. So let's go and ride. <laughs> I feel like we're entering a scare maze instead of a roller coaster. Here we go. Welcome to Saw the Ride. <laughs> well, a security checkpoint. Chart looks on edge over there. <laughs> Walking through. Look at this. All the screens, buttons. Yeah, it's great theming throughout here. It's even more eerie the fact that we're the only ones coming down to it, Charlotte. Oh, no. There is everyone. <laughs> it is so quiet though here. Oh, it's so eerie as well. Got to watch out. Could be actors. <laughs> no, you'll be all right. Good though, this for a woody with the theming. Really nice. Right, we'll see when we come off. Apocalypse the ride. Hashtag not a drop tower. Yes. Welcome back. You were successful in this.
Christmas. So we just come off Apocalypse, the park's 2009 GCI Woody. How was that for you? I absolutely loved that. It was just so fast. I absolutely love a GCI coaster. You do, favorite. don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love a good, great coast international. And I tell you what, it's a great ride that is. It really um, is. Some fantastic drops, some great moments of airtime. You've got the station fly through. What really makes it, there's a few tunnels throughout the layout it's just as a well. It's a great package. It is a fantastic ride. Don't get me wrong, it's not the smoothest, but it's a wooden it's quite coaster. Rickety, but it's yeah, brilliant. Well, you don't want it to be, you know, too smooth. Yeah, it's a woody Definitely at the end not. of the day. But yeah, I think that was one of your favourites, wasn't really it? Really enjoyed it. There you go, and I think it's a fantastic ride. In another park, that would be like a signature ride but there's just so much here that it's overwhelming isn't yeah, it? it is not it its crazy and we're going from ride to ride today and it is quite intense when it's this quiet isn't it it is yeah it's going from <laughs> ride to ride but you know what we're going to keep on riding because we're theme park worldwide Whoa. and we're going on another classic now this is an aerodynamic suspended coaster called ninja i love arrow rides and uh, charlotte has done vampire of course at chessington i have oh, you just seen it go in the background there this actually uses the original arrow suspended coaster oh, train it's so cute i can't wait so yeah obviously at chessington and you were sat inside a bat. Uh, but yeah, with this, it's not themed to a bat because, of course, it's called Ninja. But yeah, you can see the trains. And yeah, I'm looking forward to I'm seeing really this for you. Yeah, so we go out there and check it out. Here we go, walk on Ninja. Yeah, I do love these classic arrow trains. This coaster opened here at Magic Mountain in 1988. So let's go and ride. You excited? Yeah. Yeah, you've always wanted to do one of these, haven't you, these trains? Here we go, let's go and ride. Just come off Ninja, there's Viper up there, but you know what? Things are about to get even better and more intense for Charlotte. No, X2, so... it's open. Oh, no. oh my God, this is such I a big don't moment. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but it's one that's got to be done. I, honestly, I can't wait for Charlotte's reaction to this ride. Comment down below, do you think I'm going to like it? Oh, here we go, this is going to be it. But I tell you what, we've done well today to get the rides we have. So well. But yeah, we did Ninja. How was I that for Ninja. you? I thought it was really good, nice and smooth. But I wish it swung a little bit more. Yeah, it'd be nice if the cars swung out a little bit more, wouldn't it, than they do. Oh, it's such a big moment for Charlotte. I can't so wait. Excited. This is a big bucket list coaster for many people all around the world. Owned here in 2002 as X with a bright pink and yellow colour scheme. Of course, it's now got a I'm red nervous. track. Oh, so you should be. So I've got a red track and black supports. X2, and here we go. It's time to join the line for this awesome ride. 2002. Aerodynamics 4D coaster, the ride that unfortunately did kill Arrow, but you know what? It was worth it for this. It's an absolute beast. This is here we go. Oh, here it comes! Oh. <laughs> so yeah, you make your way backwards up the lift hill on this, and yeah, of course we spin all the way around. Oh, Charlotte! Honestly, look at this beast. Oh wow! I cannot wait for this. 175 foot tall. 3,610 feet of track, 76 miles per hour. I love it how they put the stats there. Look at this, this is a massive book of this ride. We'll see you when we come off. This is a big moment here on this channel. Charlotte's first ride here in California, USA on X2. Here we go. Oh my god, we've just come off X2 and here comes Charlotte after her first ever ride on that coaster. Charlotte, are you okay? Yeah, I'm 
That was absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that was absolutely vile. Words cannot describe how horrible that was. To the point, I actually started crying halfway round. It was just so horrible. Me and Charlotte have been together for eight years. Oh my God. I've never seen Charlotte cry on a ride before. I could not wait to get off. I was going up the lift though, you know, feeling the excitement and the adrenaline. I think Charlotte was too. And then as soon as we came down that first drop and started spinning, I turned my head over to Charlotte and saw her crying. And I actually felt really sorry for it her. It was just, like there's no words to describe how horrible it was. It was just the spinning motion, yeah. the legs bashing about. I'll never ride that again. That is a ride that is for a certain type I'm of person. I'm so, so glad that I've done it, but I will never ride that again. We was actually on the back row as well, <laughs> and Charlotte was on the outer seats. Yeah, I was. So you have been on one of the most intense seats on that ride. I can't believe it. I am so, so proud of Charlotte for going on, and that is a ride where I can completely understand why you should quite, never go on it again. It was quite funny, because we got on the brake when Sean was like, we got the fire, I went, I didn't even see it. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. So there was a fire blast, only the one, not the two. Never had the fire before on that. I didn't even see it. It was great, that was. I tell you what, that thing oh. is ridiculous. Um, it's that good. I'm going to go back round and have another go. It's got no queue at all. And this time, Charlotte will film me up in the station showing you the seating configuration. I'm staying at the exit. Charlotte, I'm so proud of you for going on. Oh. But honestly, I felt really sorry for her, actually, because I just looked across and saw her in Woo! tears on the ride. You just had to come off, have a little sit down. Yeah, you know. I did, have a drink and stuff. But oh my Well God. done, Charlotte. You've done what is many people's bucket list coasters. I can't believe it. She's done it, it's X2. I'm going on again. Oh, back on for a second go then. On X2. It's coming in your bag. It's coming in this place. 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 So I've just come off another absolutely spectacular ride on the Crazy X2. Sat near the front there, as you saw from Charlotte's wonderful footage, trying to capture me going around the ride there. Oh, me back. oh honestly, that ride, incredible. Oh, I'm so proud of Charlotte for going on. Some of the greatest coasters ever built in the world. Crazy, isn't it? There you go. Goliath just there. Tatsu, one that we're not going to be riding, unfortunately, because of the repaint. Superman just there. Full throttle still to come in this vlog. X2 and West Coast Racers. But yes, up next, we're going on a 1990 Arrow Looping Coaster uh, with seven inversions. There we go. Are you sure you're all right to go on another ride? We're going for it. But yeah, there is some nice bits of theming around the park. I love this area around here. Like, I think it looks great. And Viper Station is pretty stunning over here. I tell you what, though, we've done so well for rides today. It's not even three o'clock yet. Amazing. This just shows how quiet it is today here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Look at this. Crazy. No wonder coasts are on one train. That's fine, though, when it's this quiet. Here we go. It's time to ride on Viper.
So we've just come off Viper, a nice Arrow Classic, and for a coach that's 32 years old, I think it rides too bad, that. I can't believe how old it is <laughs> and how well it rides, but oh, I think after doing X2, it threw me off a little bit. Oh, we've done so many rides today, and that's the thing, when you're not waiting it for these big coasters, out, it? Oh, it really does, even I'm starting to feel it, but I'm loving it, what a yeah, day. Really Good Amazing. Day. We're off on a 1976 classic now. Let's go on the classic. There we go. Yeah. Looking forward to this. A nice Schwarzkopf coaster. Love this. And I'll put in some off ride footage. All the style of the building around here is very nice as well. Classic revolution. Another walk on ride for us here today. <laughs> I'll tell you what, 1976 that ride opened and it still rides so smooth. Oh, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, one loop on there, which yeah, is really I wasn't cool. I expecting that with a little lap bob. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's great. I love a good classic Schwartz car. Who's your friend then? So, this is Jelly Belly, and every time we see Jelly Belly out, I always have a photo with him. No matter where we are around the world. I've got loads of photos <laughs> with him now. We always find. A nice Jelly Belly. Well, you know what, Charlotte? It's time for your last major coaster that you're going to be I'm getting on here. To this one. Yeah, because obviously, in terms of the other two major coasters, really, Batman the Ride oh, and Tatsu, yeah. both of them are closed, but we know they're not going to be opening anytime yeah, soon, you know. Yeah. Uh, Tatsu's having the repaint. Batman's closed because they're doing the construction. Uh, you know what? I was expecting them to be closed, so that's absolutely fine. To be honest, when we've been looking at the website this past few uh, weeks and the past couple of days, we expected a lot more to be closed. Yeah, hell of a lot. Hence, right at the start of the vlog, we wasn't very optimistic were we? We've done really well today. Oh, it's been fantastic. We've done so much more than what we were expecting. But yeah, it's time for full throttle just over here now. Looking forward to seeing your reaction to this one. I'm really looking forward to it. It's an impressive ride to look at full throttle. In fact, it's just uh, launched. There we go. So yeah, it makes its way up into the loop. As you can see, it's got a top hat on top of the loop as well. Manufactured by Premier Rides. And yeah, it looks like we're going to a concert down here that's still decorated for Christmas. Let's go and ride. Get ready for that airtime. Whoa! Full throttle here on Magic Mountain. I really enjoyed that, but this section here where you like <laughs> shoot forward at the end, I feel like it needs a little bit more to then come into the station. It would have been nice with a couple of helixes, maybe some more airtime. Just something a little bit more extra at the end than just coming straight into brakes. Yeah, it's, really a, nice. it's a great coaster, one of the biggest loops in the world. Really Good. The top pad built on top of it as well, which yeah, is really nice. Unique, and yeah, you've got the backwards launch as well. Really likes it. Launches on that are really snappy though, because you've got to think the station, you know, is only there. And then it goes all the way across and up into that huge loop. You know, the launch track, yeah, it's crazy. Well, I'll tell you what, you've done your last big coaster now here in this park. Like, you know, other than a few junior coasters, yeah. Gold Rush is closed, yep. um, so we're not going to be getting that. Are you me to ride it though? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they keep saying on the tunnel, they're like, go and ride Gold Rusher. We have done so much more than we expected here today. That much so that we're changing our plans a little bit, aren't we, Charlotte? We've made an executive decision that we're not going to return for a second day to Magic Mountain this trip. Because, you know, this is Charlotte's first time in California. Yeah, there's so much to see. There is other things to see, and that means some more different vlogs. I feel like coming here for a second day, you know, it would be great for some re-rides, but we've done everything. And because we're coming back, it might be a busier day. It's a Saturday. Like that. It's going to be a busier day. I feel like we should leave on a high. Charlotte's happy. I'm happy. You know, I've been here 
here a few times before. It was all about Charlotte today. And you know, yeah. she's got on everything. Exactly. You yeah. know, we've done so well. So we're just going to try and pick up a few of these kitty coaster yeah. credits down here for Charlotte. Uh, and then, yeah, of course, I'll have another ride on X2, possibly Superman again if I get time. But yeah, I'm more than happy with that. And that means we can bring some more different content. And from a content point of view, oh, listen to that. It, it's like a fighter jet coming over. Yeah, from a content point of view, the vlog would be very similar because we've covered everything. Like, it's been a big bumper vlog from Magic Mountain. You know, we've just done so much more than I was expecting. Brilliant. But yeah, we'll just go and have a little look around uh, Bugs Bunny World. <laughs> well, you know what we say here at Theme Park Worldwide? A cred to cred. And this is taking it quite literally. Here comes Charlotte. She's gonna get some good airtime on it. I don't think she's expecting it. Whee! <laughs> here we go. Here comes Charlotte. Woo! She's got on. Little Junior Coaster just picking up some creds here for Charlotte. <laughs> Alright there. <laughs> oh, love it. Here we go then, straight over from Canyon Blaster. Oh, it's a hot rod racer's just here. Another plus one for Charlotte's coaster count. Woo! I like the train design of this. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> She's enjoying that better than X2 for her, I think. Oh, bless her. I'm so proud of her for going on. Brilliant. Right, we got one more just over there. Oh, just listen to Superman. Amazing. <laughs> Tell you what, Charlotte's doing well here, aren't you? Yeah, well, I've just gone on that one and the member of staff said, Where's your child? I said, I don't have one. And she went, Where are you from? I said, England. She went, Come on up. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to have a kid for some of the crowds, but there we go. We'll have a little look around this way. Have a nice ride on Roadrunner Express just there. Very nice. A little Vacoma Junior coaster. A bit of water on the floor there, so they've had a bit of flooding. Lovely. Little cred count. It's a nicely themed area this actually, Bugs Bunny. Well I'll tell you what, Charlotte managed to get three credits down there out of the floor. Three out of four. You did well there, Charlotte. Yeah, I tried the fourth, but no. Wasn't happening. They were like, no, if you've not got a kid, you're not riding. I but got three. There you go, it is what it is. I'll tell you what, we've had an absolute blast here today. Gonna go on to a flat ride now because there is a nice variety of flat rides at this park. There's nothing spectacular, big standout flats other than crazanity that you can see just here swinging behind me. I don't think, oh, it's so noisy, I love it. I don't think Charlotte's coming on this, though, are you? Here we go, I'll go and have a ride on here and I'll let you know my thoughts afterwards. Great ride though this, go and have a ride. Oh my god, it's so loud. It might look really intense, but it really is not so much that. I prefer the cyclinator of Paulton's Park, to be honest. It might be huge, but yeah, it's just not got much force to it. I even think Charlotte would be all right on there. So. Oh, you got my bag on. There we go. I <laughs> got the bag on just there. You're telling us to buy gold brush, it's shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you this. Here we go. Another opening day classic, 1971. Arrow little mine train there is down here. There we go. But something for you to come back for. We have done so well today. So, so well. So much better than I ever imagined. We've had a Six Flags day, but it's been a good one. Yes. But anyway, we're going to end now with a couple of re rides. Merry Christmas, everybody. There we go. I <laughs> got the re up. Going to get on Superman again, maybe a couple of times. I think that's Charlotte's favourite ride here, to be honest. She loves it. And then, of course, end over on X2, where will Charlotte ride again? No. <laughs> I don't think she will. <laughs> she likes these big coat bottles around the park, though. Look at the recycling bins. She loves them. <laughs> oh, blimey. What a day. Here we go then, back in the station. One final ride here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Oh, I'm looking forward to this again. This time over here on the other side. Just had a little bit of a key wait, about 15 minutes actually. I think with this ride, it's so intense. A lot of people really have to build themselves up. There we go, one final ride on X2. Charlotte's going to be waiting just at the side here. I will. Well, you'll look after me bag waiting whilst I go on. But uh, here we go, I'm so proud for Charlotte for going on earlier on. But uh, here we go, we're going to get on the other side now, just here. Our X2 to end the day here at Magic Mountain. What a day it's been. Look at this beauty.
I cannot believe what has just happened. Charlotte here has just come on X2 again. What even happened? I don't really know what happened, to be honest. It was a moment of madness and I did it again. You were in you tears earlier. I know, you only live once, don't you? I can't believe it. And this time, though, you went on the inner seas. It wasn't as bad for you, was it? I hated it just as much. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but it wasn't like as bad as the other time. But, oh, no, it's not for me. I'm so glad that you had a go on there, though, Charlotte. X2, we have had a phenomenal day here at Magic Mountain. This Six Flags just never let me down. I always have a great time here. I've had here. a brilliant day. I've had ticked off some bucket lift coasters. You've been on so many big rides, but what else have you really enjoyed? Of course, X2 you've not, but what other rides? I enjoyed Superman so much. Yeah. Full throttle, I love that. Apocalypse, I yeah. really enjoyed that. A great GCI. A lot of people don't often talk about that. I you really know. liked it. Oh, it's been fantastic. What a great day. An action-packed vlog. I really enjoyed getting back on Twisted Colossus, especially because that was my first RMC I did back in 2015. It's quite special. It is, yeah. Yeah, and getting back on it, I wanted to just, you know, see how it felt. I've done so many more RMCs across Europe and America now. Getting back on it, my thoughts are just the same as when I first went on it. Yeah, it's you a know, great It's coaster. a good ride, but it's not a phenomenal ride. Yeah. There's some other better rides in this park. Uh, I also really like getting back on the likes of Goliath. That was fantastic. Ninja, um, some brilliant rides at this park. Scream, you could list them all off. You could. It's you a bucket this park day. for many people, and I've loved it. Operations have been pretty solid. Yeah, it's been one train service on most of the coasters. It's been quiet. It's been dead. It's been absolutely empty here today. We've had a fantastic time here at Magic Mountain, so thanks for joining us. Like I say, we're not going to be coming back now for a second day. We don't need to. The vlog will be too repetitive, and we've done this part today. We've done it. We've hammered it out. We've got everything in. We've had loads of rides. Uh, three on X2. Oh, it's been incredible. What a day. And thanks for joining us here in our first vlog from California. Uh, we've got so much more coming up, and up next, we're going to Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, I'm so excited. Knott's is so much more than just coasters. It's the theming, it's the experience. Uh, yeah, and I can't wait to take you along there in the next vlog coming up so thanks for joining me in charlotte here from the roller coaster capital it really is amazing and that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you all in tomorrow's vlog <laughs>